Hello, welcome back to another How to Cook with James. Uh, so we're going to be doing some cooking lessons today. Uh, we're going to be throwing in some extra ingredients in our stir fry, which is nickel and cobalt. Basically, I'm going to cook this battery. The battery is currently at 11.2 degrees and I'm just going to hit a rapid get it up to 24 degrees and I want to see how long it stays there. I want to see if the speed of um, the battery going up will decrease because of the higher temperature or I just want to find out what is the optimal temperature for the actual battery itself before hitting a second rapid. Because if I'm correct I'm expecting it to be like a pendulum. So you basically reach a certain um, temperature and it should actually always try and aim for that, the car, if you're doing 60 miles an hour. So, you know, like if you were low down on the pendulum, it will reach up to, this is my guess, is about 24, 25 degrees. And then if you're above that, it will actually reduce the heat down towards the 24 degrees. Or at least that's what I'm hoping it'll do. So we'll find out what happens with that. So I'm at the rapid charge point here. I'm going to charge up and the battery is at 13.4 degrees centigrade and I'm just going to cook it to 24 degrees. Hopefully I'll get more than 70% of juice also. I've not really calculated for like when I hit 24 degrees and how much battery I'm I'm going to be getting but we'll just have to make do with what we get. So we're at 75% and we're pulling 23 kilowatts so I'm going to sit here uh, until we reach 80% actually and the reason for that is I want to see what we get out of the um, out of the battery temperature, we're at 19.4 19 degrees centigrade and I just want to see with the next 5% if the temperature goes up or if it's actually quite stable to where it is. So seeing I'm at 80%, it's probably a good time to draw this chart out, I suppose. So we start at 80% and we are at 20.4 degrees centigrade. I am going to be doing 70 miles an hour because I want to get this temperature up to 24 degrees. So the first 10% shouldn't really count, I suppose, towards the what we're trying to achieve. So we'll see what happens once we get to 24 degrees. I am going to slow the car down to 60 miles on the speedo. That is the plan anyway. Also, it's rush hour traffic towards Glasgow. So we'll see what happens. Outside temperatures are scotching 11 degrees centigrade. Uh, and in here, I do not know because I've not got the heating on. Right, we're down to 70% at the moment and we are travelling at 60 miles an hour on the speedo. The temperature is 22.3 degrees centigrade. I'll do a screen grab. It's probably not the best time to do this test as it's kind of rush hour traffic at the moment. But not only that, it's raining. I thought it was sunny in Glasgow, you know. Obviously not. I've uh, stepped on Eco and we're at 22.2. Is that going down? The temperature is actually going down. Surely it's not the rain <laughs> making the battery cooler. 
Right, so I'll come. We'll, I'll report back to you guys once we get down to 60% and see where the temperature's sitting. We're currently at 60% on the battery. Uh, temperature is fluctuating between 22.8 and 22.7 degrees centigrade. That is a rise of 0.4 degrees centigrade from before. So it's not really risen that much, is it? So I think roughly about 22 to 23 degrees is the optimal running temperature. I think we can only do this until it goes down to maybe 40% and then the temperatures would probably start increasing at that point because of the low state of charge of the battery. We're down to 55% at the moment and I'm still cruising at 60 the battery temperature is 22.8 is the optimum running temperature of the car so it's going to be a test for next time to heat the battery past that point to say 36 degrees and see how much we can get the battery to cool down I think so we know, we know that it will heat up to about 22.8 degrees and hold at that position at 60 miles an hour. Obviously I'm running out motorway. I might be able to get down to 50% possibly. I might have one more update before I sign off. So only in Scotland can you get Scorching sunshine at 7 degrees centigrade coming through the cabin heating up my body and basically chucking it down with torrential rain. If you want to see four seasons in one day you need to come to Scotland because it's bound to happen and I'm doing 60 in the fast lane because everyone's so dry down. Right, I'm just going to punch it because this guy's up my backside and I'm going to pull in and I'm going to slow down right so where are we now we are currently at 23 degrees it was at 22.8 for ages I'm sure it was I think it only heated up there because I stepped on it it's at 52% so and the car steaming up jeez this is bizarre crazy weather I feel like a weatherman sometimes doing these videos So we're at 50% on the battery and the battery temperature currently is at 23.1 degrees centigrade. So it's not really climbed up that much. I had to do a little bit of overtaking here and there and uh, splashing through the torrential rain that we've had, the tropical outbreak of the monsoon season in Scotland. So obviously that's past now and we are in the scorching 8 degrees centigrade outside temperature in the sun and I'm actually feeling the heat from the sun so you know it's uh, yeah that's Scotland for you right so looks like for the car the optimum running temperature is between 22 and 24 degrees I'd say within that band of 30% um, 30, uh, 30 of the battery all the way up to full. So if you want to get the most out of the car, if you could somehow preheat the car up to 22 degrees centigrade, then I think you would get the optimum running of the vehicle. 
because I'm at four miles per kilowatt hour at the moment and that's fairly decent for doing 60 miles an hour with a warm battery. So we go to the battery temperature gauge, obviously, yep, as expected, it's below the halfway mark. I know it's a bit of a short video this one, but I just wanted to test out my theory on the optimum running temperature of the car. And I don't think I was too far off from my original guess, just from the way the car's been reacting when I've been driving it for the last two, three, yeah, oh, yeah, three, three months, isn't it? Sheesh. Actually, no, it's a two and a bit months. From all the experience of driving this car and the short time that I've had it, I'm beginning to understand how the battery actually works. Right, so looking back at the numbers, it looks like 30% is probably the best time to charge a car because it 30% the last time we were up to 24.4 degrees centigrade so obviously that's going to start creeping up everything above that shouldn't really count until you get to about 22 degrees and it looks like below 50% is when it starts heating up the the battery so I still think between 30 between 25 and 30% I think is probably the optimum point to start charging your vehicle just to keep the battery cool. I'll be doing some tests later on because I need to do this as I have a long trip. I'm going down to the fully charged live show and that's 351.1 miles away. So obviously I want to try and see if I can uh, get down there without too much delay and basically make the best out of what I've got. It's just to try and get the optimal battery sort of like temperature and charge rate for a long journey and see if I can basically come up with some uh, smart way of doing it. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button below and I will do some more tests for you guys next time.